Yo, how are we boys? Today we got a fighter showcase on Connor Ben. Not really seen too many people use them or even use very low rated people in this game. So see how it goes. The only real person I've seen people use that's low rated is Ryan Garcia, just because Um his punch beat is pretty fucking quick. Um And he doesn't play like an eighty three or whatever he's rated. Um I feel like I can do a good showing. Let's see what kind of opponent we match up against. Legend, the middleweight, the super middleweight, the light heavyweight who fights out of Guadalajara, Mexico. We are facing Canelo, lads, so let's see what we can do. The destroyer, Connor Ben, one of the most exciting and electrifying. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Hiding out of the red corner. We're just going to try to work the body. And try to get some big hooks when we can. Take it easy. Try not to use too much stamina. with the left uppercut. Welcome inside this unique environment, a beautiful theater, ready for a fist fight. This is that place you want to say, I fought and I feel it. And now we are here. Yeah, we're really just trying to work the body here, boys. He is Canelo, so he is quite a bit higher rated than us. So we're gonna play um, decently patiently. Both of these men showing exceptional chances, by the way. told us yesterday if he doesn't win by knockout he doesn't consider it a real victory that's the mentality he has terrorized them into not wanting to throw a punch because they don't even see the shot leaving we're just working the body here on canelo because a lot of fighters online tend not to even block their body with 10 seconds left and I find a lot of success targeting the body in most fights. Who's winning this fight right now? I have no idea. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your We haven't we've still got a hundred percent stamina after the first round. And we definitely threw a lot more than him. A power body shot. Fantastic punch. This game's still a bit janky, boys, but I have a lot of faith in the game. I think it can be quite good. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. They have got great ring IQ. Counter punches are the best. And there's an uppercut, a big uppercut, and his knees buckled that time. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Get some bit of a bit of more bit more movement, boys. We're not moving too much. I'm still not great at gauging distance in this game. I need to get a lot better.
I feel like they can move out of the way of danger too easily in this game too. The guy keeps giving me the body, I'll take it. I don't care. I'll take I'll take those body shots. I only use one percent of stamina that round two. He's gonna be the first one to get rocked. Keep giving me that body, dude. If I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. Let me explain to you about crossfire, crossfire. Conobin really doesn't feel that bad, boys. Can't lie. They're comfortable. They know they just have to cut first. Boom. It's Canelo's getting pissed off. Fuck up. Their footwork has got them out of the way, and these guys are so relaxed, and that's why they can maintain this all the way to a fight. Prevents that left uppercut from scoring. I'm gonna just keep attacking this guy's body. He's only now protecting it. So it must be doing some damage. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They I've seen much better Canelo's online. I don't even think he's that good in the game anyway. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their felt. Get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. Judges scorecards read there are no losers in this one. I was just spamming that job. I hate how you can just spam after the bell too, boys. I think we got this in the bag. We've won all three rounds. See what we can do. This is certainly an aggressive fight. See if we can drop on this round. Success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart even though they were the one pushing the tempo? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight by we fight. You either give it them back because that's where they're comfortable, or you take care of your team. A bit more fucking movement against this guy too. Loading up now. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know very close round with 10 seconds to go. This fight could not be any 
He's, he played a little bit better that round. He might have stolen that round, can't lie. But we'll see. We're really low. We're just gonna try to load up on these body shots now too, because we have a lot of stamina. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. Hard. We know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Big shots from both these uh, the commentators definitely need some work in this game. They say the same thing every every fight. No matter who, who the fighters are. Right uppercut, just off target. Let's see what else this guy's got. He's not showing me too much at the moment. Not too impressed. In throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons. And they know it's a matter of time before either you... This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Hunter Ben is lacking a little bit in power. I'm not gonna lie. His um, his shots don't feel like they have that pop. They don't have that impact. Why are you running from? When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw, it's about how many you land and how hard they are. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, thinking. Hold everything! He, what a shot that put Let's fucking down. go, lads. So there you have it. It is oh, and man. he's gone. That is not the way anyone wanted this fight to Is that a quit or a flash knockdown? Crowd agree. I agree. The ref knew exactly what he was doing. So you know what? Great shout. I look forward to fight number two. Quick finish, lads. One every round, two. Look at the the uppercuts. Most of those, pretty much all of those, were to the body. Had forty seven counters on him. He must have quit. <laughs> Decent showing from Conor Ben. Um, I was pretty impressed. I think he's just not got enough power, but he doesn't seem too bad for his rating. Um, he's definitely usable. Um, let me know in the comments, boys, who you want to see next, and also, what are you thinking about the game? Are you liking it? I think it's still a bit janky, but I do think it has a lot of potential, boys. So, let me know who you want to see next, and we'll definitely try to get that done.